Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic book test. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. What is a magic book test? Because we all know what a magic book is, right? A magic book teaches you magic tricks. A magic book test is a magic trick. That means Whereas we might use a deck of cards as a prop, use a magic wand as a prop, use big boxes on stage as props. Here, you are using the book as a prop. The book itself is something that enables you to do a magic trick. And so typically in book tests, um, we hand them out to people in the audience. Books are familiar items people understand, cover, pages, text, page numbers, right? Index, table of contents. People are familiar with parts of a book just like they're familiar with playing cards. And so you hand a book out to the audience, you say turn to any page, look at any word, and then somehow the mentalist, usually, right? Usually this is the mentalist effect, um, tells the audience member what word they're looking at. And you can do book tests in lots of different ways. Many people have come up with their own solution to the book test. Today we're going to look at H3, from Henri Beaumont and Rubik's Cube Magician.co.uk. And uh, it's a book test with a Rubik's Cube. What's going on with Rubik's Cube magic? It seems like it's back, right? It, there was a, a height, there was a heyday. We saw Rubik's Cube magic everywhere and now it feels like uh, it's, it's come back again. We've, we've come full circle. Last week or so, did a review for a deck of cards that was a companion to a Rubik's Cube. And now this is a book that is a companion to a Rubik's Cube. And let me just say once again, you do not need a Rubik's Cube to do this book test. You don't. It would help probably, <laughs> right? <laughs> kind of random to pull this out. But uh, if you were a Rubik's Cube magician, now you can do a book test. And there's a whole bunch of cool things that you can do with this book. Let me show you what the inside looks like. So these are the pages, right? And on every page, you're going to see uh, the name of a cuber, the country that they hail from. You're going to see what their mixed up cube look like at the very beginning of their challenge, how many moves it took them to solve it. And then underneath that, you'll have the time and their solution. So this is a little collection of various champions of cube uh, solving right? And it shows you uh, what their cube looked like, where they hail from, how fast it took them. Every single page has a different champion. And in this book test, you are able to hand the book out to the audience. They can see that the pages are all different, right? The cube pictures are all different. They flip to a random page and you say, oh, you know, what, where, where did you, you know, who did you land on? And they'll say like, Jeff Smith, or whatever, right? And you say, oh yes, Jeff Smith. Well, um, he's a guy and he hails from the United States. Let's say you could do their country of origin. You could say, uh, this is, let, me, let me show you what their cube looked like when they started. And you could pick a cube up and shuffle it and say, this should match the picture that you're looking at. And they'll say yes. Um, you could say uh, how fast their solve was, right? And the number of moves that it took them to, to do it. So you'll know their time and how many moves they used. And you can do that for every single page. Now, again, you don't need the cube, a real cube, to show the solution. You don't need that part. But I guess it's a nice feature. And if you already know uh, a little bit about cube solving, I think that's a nice touch. I don't know why you would pick this up if you weren't um, a cube magician, right? This seems like a kind of purchase that you would want for uh, adding to your magic. So I think what great new props we have out now for cube magic. You know, you, you can do a cube solve or a cube match. You can do things with paper bags. You can do things with other spectators and second cubes or third cubes. Now there's a deck of cards out there that you can do card tricks with the cube. Now there's a book out that you can do book test magic with the cube. So lots of fun stuff to add to your uh, cube magic collection. Let's ask and answer some questions. First up, you're going to find this at rubikscubemagician.co.uk and uh, the American USA dollar price is 
and three dollars, 103 bucks. I think it's because there weren't a lot of these printed. I don't think there was a lot of these printed and books, you know, publishing books, especially in a small print run, it always ends up being a little bit more. I know this went to Blackpool. I know people loved it at Blackpool. It was a big hit at Blackpool. Uh, the other thing you're gonna get is you're gonna get six files. So six files that are gonna walk you through how to do this. And I think it's two and a half hours, two and a half hours of tutorial. So you get a lot. And just in case I wasn't listening, <laughs> the things that you will be able to reveal on uh, every page are the cuber's country of origin, their gender, the starting position of the cube, the location of specific colors on the cube, uh, the record solve time, and the number of moves it took to solve the cube. Those are all the things that you will be able to reveal on every single page. Now, what you wanna know is how difficult is this to do? Good question. Uh, there's two ways to do this. Number one, you could be totally diehard, dedicated, and you're like, I'm gonna memorize all the algorithms. Great, there's really easy algorithms built into this based around colors, okay? So if you know your colors of the cube and uh, you're familiar a little bit with the workings of a cube, you'll be able to memorize the algorithms pretty easy, you'll figure it out. However, if you're like, you know what, I'm not gonna do this trick that often, and I'd really uh, rather not do a whole lot of memorization, that's fine too, because there are cribs built into this book all throughout. There's cribs on the front of the book, the back, they include a bookmark, there's cribs on that as well, so literally you could say, if you want to, there's no memory work with this at all. So, how's the video? Uh, you got Henri, he's sitting in the studio, it kind of looks like a podcasting studio. You even got a guitar there in the background. And he's gonna walk you through everything. And it's a nicely shot. You get the straight on shots of him, plus you get some over the head, uh, over the shoulder shots that with a picture in picture. There's a video about, the, about just you know, what you're getting. This is an intro video. Then there's a history and crediting video as well. Then I think it's pretty nice of him to have a whole video dedicated to the structure of the cube. So if you're brand new to Cube Magic and you're just starting out, he's gonna walk you through all the language, all the lingo. Uh, in a, and the other great thing is if you already know about a cube, you can skip this video. You don't need to watch this part. The next is the structure of the book. How's the book laid out? What do all the codes mean? What's the algorithm? How is the algorithm based? Then he's gonna talk to you about the coding system, how you put those pieces of information together. How do you put the algorithm together with the book? And then lastly, he's gonna to talk to you about how do you get the information. So you're not necessarily fishing from the spectator, but you're, you need a little bit of information from them. And how do you get that information? And he goes over that as well. Slice and difficulty level, you only need two pieces of information and you've got it. So usually you're gonna ask them what the person's name is. And the name isn't gonna be like Jeff Smith. <laughs> it's, it's not. Um, a lot of the names have a, a more European sound to them right? Or maybe perhaps a more, a more uh, Asian sound to them. And then after you have that piece of information, the next step would just be either applying the algorithm, if you memorized it and you want to do it uh, based on your own mental powers, or just going over and referring to the cribs that are built into the book as well. So it should be as hard or as easy as you make it. Positives, I think they did a really good job at making this book look like what it's supposed to be right? It's a book that records some of the greatest solves in cube history. And it's a collector's item for a cube, a, a speed cube solver. Uh, and it's also could be a, a, a book that could be like a challenge, you know, like you say, hey, I, I, f I find a random uh, champion, and I mix my cube up to look like theirs. And then I try to solve, uh, solve from their starting point, and I try to beat their and try to beat their solve, right? And, and so you, you can do it like that. I think the negatives are that it's expensive, right? <laughs> I think that's probably uh, the biggest uh, negative is that it is $103. But if you've purchased book tests before, you know, like book tests are not cheap. Book tests are almost always a lot of money. So I don't think a, a book test about Rubik's cubes would be much different. And like I said, if you do a lot of cube magic, right? you run into the problem of this trick looks like that trick. You know, cube magic starts to look the same after you've seen three or four tricks. So how do you keep it fresh? How do you build a whole routine? Well, now you've got some really great props out there, I think, uh, 
you know, with the deck of cards that's, that's come out recently and now with this book test, I think adding those things into your routine could really flesh out a cube magic uh, set and give you a lot of cool stuff to use because I think, you know, cube magic does come across as mentalism more than I think just, you know, hocus pocus or magic and, you know, top hats and, and rabbits and magic wands. I think it does kind of lean more towards mentalism. So I think using um, a book test is a great way to add another layer. And like I said, you don't need to be a Q person to get this book. There's just one other reveal. There's, you know, there's two other reveals out there that you can do with the cube, but yeah. All right. So who is this trick for? Who would like this? Well, I think number one, people who do Rubik's Cube magic, right? Definitely love it. Um, there's always mentalists that like tricks like this and also people who collect book tests, I think would like this as well. And I would argue because of the price point, there aren't going to be a lot of people who do this trick. So if you are lucky enough, fortunate enough to be able to pick this up, you're going to be the only person in town doing it probably. So this is a trick that would make you stand out amongst all the other people that are doing the same tricks. Be different, be you, be original. Well, that's everything I can say about H3, Henri Beaumont. Like I said, you can find this at rubikscubemagician.co.uk. Uh, you can pick this up for, I think, roughly 103 bucks USA. There's probably some ch uh, shipping charges too that go along with shipping to the States because they are over in the UK. But uh, big, huge thanks to them for allowing me to have this so I can show it to you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, do you want some more information about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Sure. From my homepage, if you look up at the top, you'll see one of the tabs says store. If you click that, that'll take you to my Teespring merchandise. There, you'll see that I have a variety of different designs. Uh, there's more than one, so it's not just the shirt I was wearing today. And they're also at a large variety of price points, so there's something for everybody. Plus, if you click on a design that you like or that you're interested in, you'll also notice that you can select that shirt in different colors. So you're not locked into the color uh, that you see in the graphic. And that means, of course, you can buy the same design in several colors. Now, I don't ask that you buy a shirt. You don't have to. That is not uh, how I ask that you support me. But if you do buy a shirt, I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel, for believing in me. You guys are awesome. Uh, my fans are great. And I love it when you guys send pictures or you tag me on Instagram and you say, I bought a Magic Orthodoxy shirt. Uh, you, you have no idea how, how great that makes me feel and just uh, what, what a lift that is in my day. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye.